Hello the boat show lovers, today we are in Miami. Since Florida is home to many boat shows, we're here to talk to some key players about the changes in the U.S. boating and marine industry. So we have lots of questions and they are going to give us the answers. What are the key uh, elements and ingredients that help to, that contribute to the success of Ocean Alexander? Thank you for asking, actually. That's, as you see, as you move around the show here in Miami, there are a lot of different uh, manufacturers from all over the world. And uh, our primary market currently is the Southwest uh, Florida of the United States, and then also the Pacific Northwest, uh, up in the Seattle area, all the way down to California. The, uh, the success of the brand has just been focused generally on 45 years of yacht building and, uh, and, and really paying attention to our clients, paying attention to the things that they need, uh, that they desire to be out on the water. Uh, and we actually try to find balance and strike balance with uh, clients that maybe still have active families, but also extended families. And that gives us the ability to really define what our, what our buyer is and uh, what they're gonna find uh, to be Im important in, in using their yacht. As generations change and as the industry changes, which it did during the pandemic, uh, we received a lot of people that saw the value of time with family, time with relatives and being on the water. That really helped us to understand a whole new demographic of people coming into that and what that means to them. Our long-term demographic, which is very strong, uh, they, we know them. We know them very well. So what presented to us was a challenge of how we're going to meet the new demands that are coming. And uh, it required us to disrupt a few things. It required us to rethink a few things. Um, and strangely enough, it actually worked for our core demographic as well. So it's a two-way street. It's a two-way street always. I know for Ocean Alexander, performance is really important, but as well also uh, safety. Correct. And uh, you know, most of our research and development centers around uh, the, the functional user of a yacht. Uh, we, we don't build a boat to be the most beautiful in the boat show. Obviously, that matters, but what matters is how that beauty relates then to functionality. And uh, so speed is something that is important uh, when you're this close to a primary boating destination, much like we are in the Pacific Northwest to get out to the San Juan Islands, or here in Southeast Florida to get over to the Bahamas, people want the ability to be able to move quickly. And uh, if they need to uh, uh, get home quickly, or they want the, be the, the fun to begin. So most of our builds generally will uh, run at a top speed of 22 to 24 knots uh, and cruise very comfortably at 16 to 18 knots. As boat builders that have been in the business for a long time, you know that some trends are not as great, are not okay. How do you get that message through them without, you know, saying, you know, we don't want to offend you, but that's not okay. And, uh, you know, everything is on the table with us. That is one thing for sure. Uh, if we see it as a fad or a trend, uh, we will tread with it cautiously where maybe it can be adapted later, where if it needs to revert back to something a little bit more traditional or a little bit more functional, we don't want to actually create something that can have a moment in time that then disappears. We want to create something that will give them the, the elements that they're looking for and the buyer what they're looking for, but at the same time, the ability to not have um, a vessel that was just a moment in time that has passed. And for, you know, when you have 30 to 40 meters to work with, you're given a lot of uh, available things that you can do. And so space allocation and what to do with space. And then when we actually uh, compare that with where the markets are going or what you see a lot of people doing at the time, you then trying to find that balancing act of how we can utilize that space but not completely commit the space. As far as projects, let's talk about current projects and future projects. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are uh, a boutique yacht builder. 
So we produce 20 to 25 yachts a year. So we are very specific as to what we build and every build has a unique flair. We run from 30 to 40 meters and within that we have four series. We have the L series, which we're on right now today. Uh, what is in the background with us is the E series. That is the newest series in our line, uh, right there behind us. And uh, uh, we build two, um, uh, a 28 meter and a 32 meter. The 32 meter is in the background. And uh, that is more of uh, that adventure driven uh, style. Uh, from there we have the R series, which is the Revolution series, and then the P series, which is the Puro series. And that is our international design. That, that design actually is uh, uh, becoming very well received in the European and the overseas market. We are working and developing new series that uh, are not going to be released, but we're right now evaluating, do we want to go to a fifth? or will one series actually start to fade when another one comes in. Uh, but the future is really continuing to push the boundaries, not only on space, but on innovation, keeping with classic use of why to be out on the water, but at the same time to not actually follow fads, but actually to set trends.